through a number of things throughout our day. Our lives are full of stress. Even within a single day, we are making thousands of decisions that experience and that uh, knowledge and impact on our lives build up over time. Uh, we all experience work, school, family, money, stresses from everywhere. And all of these things tax our energy reserves and eventually drain them out. We might get opportunities to get that energy back through proper sleep or recovering, but oftentimes we don't charge that battery up back to 100%. And that's where it can lead us to burnout when we have these excessive stresses that go chronically throughout our life that we don't ever get to fully recover from. So what is the definition of burnout specifically? So burnout is an outcome of chronic depletion of an individual's coping resources that result from prolonged exposure to stress, particularly work-related stress. Um, so it's a chronic affective state, so emotional state from, um, like I said, from work, from your life, anything over a long period of time that you're just feeling over and over again. It is uh, characterized by three main effects. So emotional exhaustion. So the effect that, you know, when you feel so emotionally exhausted, you can't really feel anything else. Sometimes it results in you feeling numb. Uh, there's physical aspects of it, physical fatigue, um, where you feel tired, can't get it out of bed, or you just feel so sluggish and drained. And then there is cognitive weariness, which is, again, the aspect of thinking, making decisions, perceiving things, all of those kind of mental activities and decisions that you have to do. And so across these three realms, you have that idea of draining from your life throughout. Now, why do we care about work stress? I mean, at the same time, we might say, well, it's just work stress. I just need to not have work stress. It's just one part of my life. It's not everything else. Work stress is particularly important because stress is part of all of our lives. But in particular, work, we spend about a third of our adult life at work, about 90,000 hours, which is a lot. And on average, through um, measures through the World Health Organization, as well as the American Psychological Association, work is regularly rated as the top source of stress for uh, people. And so we take that into account that work stress is our top amount of stress and we spend a third of our lives at work that is a lot of stress over time why we even care about stress even more is it's not just mental or it's not just oh well it's just stress stress impacts our physical health too if we kind of take a look at this rank of um, various causes of death throughout the world from the world health organization we can see that out of all of the top ranked sources of stress here, I'm sorry, top ranked, uh, top ranked causes of death, almost every single one of these, especially if there are non-communicable diseases, are significantly related to stress. And stress significantly impacts whether you are at risk for developing the disease or risk for the outcome, whether it gets worse or whether it even is something that can kill you.